Ontario Systems will soon mark its 40th year in business. As we look ahead to what's next, we reflect on the foundation laid long ago by two humble entrepreneurs with a vision and celebrate the contributions of talented, hardworking people who have brought us this far. In 1980, Ron Fokwer and Will Davis left General Motors to form a new company, CompuSoft. For the next several years, Ron and Will, together with a small team they'd recruited, kept busy with an interesting mix of software projects for customers as diverse as the South Korean Defense Ministry and the 1987 Pan American Games, as well as corporate clients such as Ford and General Motors, and many others. While these early projects were all over the map, they helped fund a promising startup whose culture and success would surpass Ron and Will's wildest hopes. I've been asked the question a number of times is, what was your plan? What was your big goal? What was your long range uh, desire for the company at that point in time? We didn't think we would ever be much more than about 20 or 25 people. When we wrote our statement of corporate philosophy, which contained a, a vision statement for the company, what we want to be and the values we want to espouse, our first paragraph was started something like this. We believe all of life is a gift from God. And what we concluded early on was even the privilege and opportunity of working was a gift. So what's expected of any of us when we receive a nice gift? Do something nice with it. We take that responsibility seriously and we actually uh, look for people who are like-minded about that. In 1981, CompuSoft attracted its first major investor, Muncie-based Ontario Corporation. The two companies signed a simple one-page agreement that would kick off a long productive partnership lasting more than two decades. It was this partnership, along with Ontario Corporation's experienced, capable team, led by Kelly Stanley and Van Smith, that would dramatically change the young tech startup's trajectory. After changing its name to Ontario Systems, the company made a strategic decision to become a product-based company, launching into the accounts receivable industry in 1984 with FAX, Flexible Automated Collection System. Later came Unidial, and guaranteed contacts, which revolutionized how agents contacted consumers by phone, and Link, which connected fax to a wide range of external data providers. With the introduction of fax and these seamless integrations, Ontario Systems revolutionized collections technology, disrupted the accounts receivable management, or ARM, industry, and enjoyed surging revenues and growth. Building on the success of fax, Ontario Systems entered a period of sustained growth, with two notable gains that would propel the company forward. In the 1980s, it was the Michigan miracle. Five new fax clients signed in a single week, and 20 new clients signed in the course of a year. In the 90s, it was the PECO contract, a multi-million dollar agreement with the largest receivables management firm in the US. The result? Ontario Systems doubled in size, with more than 100 new employees added in only a few months. How I remember the company was uh, it was a time of uh, almost no limits. Uh, the reality of it is, is there were challenges every day. Uh, there were issues that we were fighting. There was uh, we were learning how to develop quality software. We were hearing, learning how to be good stewards of those things that have been given to us. We were learning how to serve companies, uh, but we were also selling a lot of product. For sure at the end of that period, Payco, a single customer, became a transformation of sale for us. They were approximately 10, 10 times bigger than our next largest customer that we had, that we were serving at the time. Their IT staff was bigger than our entire company. In order to serve them, we, we had to gear up and we had to hire 100 people in one year just to add to the Payco team to do some installation support training for PECO. It was an enormous deal. It was also during this period that Ontario Systems committed to staying and investing in the Muncie community. The company brought its scattered personnel together under one roof by acquiring and overhauling the Meadows property on Jackson Street and establishing its headquarters there. From Ontario Systems' new home base, it began serving new markets and grew steadily for nearly a decade before experiencing significant internal and external change. Following its first change of ownership in 22 years and shaken by the economic crisis of 2008, 
Ontario Systems had to navigate its way out of a difficult period. But the company would rebound and emerge stronger than ever under the steady, capable leadership of Ron Fokwer and a team of seasoned company veterans. With new determination and energy, Ontario Systems renewed its focus on three key markets, collections, healthcare, and government. The company would also attract a new investor, Arlington Capital, and continue accelerating growth through new business and strategic acquisitions. After acquiring Columbia Ultimate Business Systems and Justice Systems with Arlington Capital's help, Ontario Systems doubled its size yet again. Today, Ontario Systems is leading and succeeding on a variety of fronts. The company specializes in software that accelerates cash flow for our market leaders, the federal and local governments, and major healthcare providers such as Johns Hopkins and the Mayo Clinic. Ontario Systems continues to invest in and nurture a culture that reflects its founders' principles, one that empowers and inspires. No matter where our journey takes us, our commitment to our people, our customers, and the communities in which we live and work is unwavering. With a new investor, New Mountain Capital, a new generation of leadership, including CEO Jason Harrington, and over 500 talented, dedicated employees, Ontario Systems remains a trusted provider to more than 1,200 organizations across the U.S. Our technology solutions enable our customers to manage over $1 trillion in receivables and recover more than $170 billion in revenues each year. From our offices in Muncie, Albuquerque, and Vancouver, Washington, with excitement and gratitude in our hearts, we look forward to an even brighter, more prosperous future. This is a spectacular privilege, but it's not guaranteed, it's not from us, it's bigger than us. Change the world of work one person at a time. That's all we really ever wanted to do.